an adult meets a child for the first time, often the first question that is asked is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Often students answer that question based on what they've experienced prior to being a scholar at Cheltenham and much less based on what they really see their potential as. How do we get kids to reach their potential if we aren't even talking about what does potential mean, right? Who are you as a human being? And what is it around you that shapes what you do every day and who you want to become? We are looking to find who a child is, make sure they're seen. And the only way to do that is to go beyond the content and the curriculum. We think a lot about the social-emotional work that goes into the kids that we serve. The question we ask our students is, what are you becoming? How we ask our students to see themselves is very different in this school than it is in any other building that I've ever worked in. How our leaders see themselves is very different than how other leaders see themselves. My official title in this school is Dean of Fun, and in this school, I'm allowed to be that person. Each and every person in this building has strengths and weaknesses. We all have superpowers. Sometimes it takes a critical instance of growth to realize something about yourself. When a young child recognizes themselves as, as, as having superpowers, as being capable, the level of independence and confidence that you see is absolutely transformational. They can become anything at that point. I know that the work that we've done has greatly changed the landscape of how a child sees themselves. We determined the best way to start our work was to find out what makes you feel like this is a place where you belong. What makes you feel like this is a place where you're ready to show up each morning? And we worked from there. And by and large, what we heard from the kids was, I want my teacher to like me. I want to make friends. I want to do well in school. I want to have breakfast. We came to unlock the superhero in each child. We came to help them discover their potential. I want our families to feel like this is the place that they choose to bring their child every morning. That they know once their child walks through our front doors, they not only will be respected, they'll be valued just like they are at home. This community faces challenges like every other community. One of the great strengths of this community is they have an endurance to keep facing those challenges every single day and then eventually overcome them. I've taken my motivation from the community. Schools need to have a lot of support. I feel like we need to all stick together to make education better. We need to team up with people who are willing to team up with us to make our school better. How you guys doing? I knew when I was a kid I wanted to be an NFL player. I knew if I wanted to play football, I had to go. I was cut three times. Somebody told me I wasn't good enough to play in the NFL. You really have to persevere. You have to push through. Even in the dark times, no matter what it looks like, you have to continuously believe that you're going to come out on the other side. I mean, so this is a community and a school that cares about you. Don't take that for granted. I mean, I just had a great family and a great support system. With the support and help of parents, loved ones, and the community, we will be able to find out what lies within the heart of a child and really not only see them, but know who they are and what they will become. The greatest hope for the children at Cheltenham is that they feel as loved as they are and that they feel successful and happy whatever may face them in the future. I want them to leave Cheltenham knowing that they have the tools they need to succeed and that they got them here. Cheltenham is becoming a community that is affecting the outside community. We celebrate failure just like we celebrate wins. We know that failure is a stepping stone for a child to unlock their true potential. They have to see themselves as a successful piece of their future. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to change that path for them to get those higher test scores, to be seen as a reputable place to send your child. Right now, I really want to focus on who's in my building today and how can I serve them. We will know that we've arrived when the children that we are serving now as four-year-olds 
will walk across their continuation stage as fifth graders saying, I know what's next for me. I've got my eyes on that prize and there is nothing that is going to be able to stand in my way. We spend every day making sure that we have done everything we can and we want to make sure that each day when they walk out of our doors, they understand that they are seen, that they are known, and that they are trusted to become who they want to be right now. I am becoming.